set. I've got a robe on backwards. Uh, this is my smock and this is my lunch hour. What I uh, just started doing um, the past year or so is just I paint the actors in the film. So this is just a way of doing like, of generating more work or uh, from, a, from a single project. Creativity is your is your spirit, is your heart. A lot of people think that creativity is about freedom, you know, the freedom to uh, uh, act on your ideas and your imagination. But I don't think that's true. I think true creativity comes from restriction and limitation. Uh, my past inspires my creativity. When I started um, in, the, in the 80s as a student to be obsessed by art, that I basically went on a journey and for about four or five years crisscrossed Europe uh, in night trains, just to visit museums and look and look and look again. I like the idea of artists responding to the times they live in, and so I think I get my ideas basically from culture. I feel very strong about new art. I think it's very important to look for an innovative form and the most meaningful content. In the sort of process of, of creativity, whatever that is, I've always, I've always been uncomfortable with, with the idea of inspiration being this sort of direct tube that like you put something in, the, in, the, you know, in one end and then out comes something else. I, and I, I sort of live a, a very frenetic and, and, and frantic life where a lot of things come through and a lot of things leave. All artists have to be compulsive, slightly compulsive, have to be slightly delusional. I can't do things, I cannot see it as work, I need to see it as life. And, and uh, this, is, this is how I live, and I know I'm functioning like that. It's, uh, I cannot shut off, I, I have to turn it into life, the whole thing into life instead. Uh, it's also because I love it. Poverty, humor, Hunger, sex, death. When you think of what inspires my creativity, these are things that uh, you know, push me forward and, and, and make me uh, want to create. You know, without sounding glib, it's sort of everything. It's just being alive and uh, actively seeking out inspiration in relationships, conversations, nature, reading novels, appreciating architecture, going to museums, listening to music, dreaming. My family, um, I come from a background that's, we're very united and we're always cheering each other on and we want to see each other do well in life. And I think that has always been my inspiration. I think if it wasn't for my creativity, I'd probably be dead now. I think it's what, what keeps me alive. I mean, if I wasn't creative, I, you know, I, I don't... I don't know how I'd function, I don't know who I'd be. When I meet somebody who's, you know, I don't know, 30 or 40 years old, they go, oh, 
oh, I'm so non-creative. Oh, I can't even draw a stick figure. You know, you hear these like remarks. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, well, what happened? Why is that the case? Most of us don't even know how to ask a question. Most of us do not see the root of the word question is the word quest. Most of us don't have a quest in our life. As far back as I remember, you know, I kept having ideas. And you go through your formative years, usually in school, where everybody's trying to knock the creativity out of you. And it takes some stubbornness for creativity to survive. Even since I was a child, I've always been making things, creating things, inventing things. When I was a child, I used to make um, dolls' houses out of, out of cardboard boxes, and I still have that same mentality now. Children, for example, um, that have no past and no baggage or, you know, or no, no pre-associations um, are all creative. And the first thing the human being wants to do is create. The minute they have an opportunity to put something in their hand that kind of can make lines or draw or paint or break something or make a model or something, it's all within all of us, which really means that you could argue that the meaning of life is to create, that we're all here to kind of contribute, that, and we are all creative. What inspires me is just like the simple fact that I get really excited about making things. You know, and it's not even so much the idea of making things with any goal in mind. Creativity begins not with uh, being asked to do something necessarily, not with the fee from a client, uh, not from uh, telling you the number of Twitters you get or whatever it's called, but really from just the discovery of assuaging your curiosity. I've never written a note of music for money because money isn't inspiring. Um, if anything, it gets in the way of things. I'm not a musician, but it's the experience of listening to music. I mean, I, 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 I've often thought just on my own of a theoretical if I had to do without cinema or I had to do without music. And I think I would do without cinema. I think I find, I've found music over the course of my life just slightly more astoundingly inspiring than great cinema. I think movies and performance and um, characters um, are very good ways of just looking at who we are and um, examining our lives. Plato said that the fastest way to get into people's minds is through sound and what you're singing and so if somebody is writing lyrics that are very profound, that, that makes a whole difference than the mainstream music you hear. When someone's singing a great song, I like, just like Jay-Z because his baby, and suddenly I find myself uh, having the desire to move around. Like, this excites me and inspires me because um, it's changing my reality and that's, that's the way I want to see life. Dance inspires me. Uh, nothing is more intoxicating and uh, thought-provoking and titillating than watching dancers do their thing. <clears throat> Meeting people in person is something to celebrate. And that's what gatherings do. And that's why I'm obsessed with developing gatherings, going to gatherings, talking to people. It's the love for human beings and the interest in human beings, I think. And the fact that we feel there's so much to discover in a person. You know, whenever you take humans and you isolate them from each other, they start to go a little crazy and they get sick. But if you, you know, when, you do, when they do studies of happiness, almost always they find that happiness involves a good community. Creativity for me is hanging out with people that inspire me and hanging out with directors or writers or cameramen and um, just having a chat, just having a conversation, something will always come out of it. I'm actually afraid to be deeply in love and be with someone who loves me. Um, and I realised that most of my life I've actually um, kept myself away from love. So I'd like to be with someone who really loved me. I'd like to share my life, but I don't think I'd ever do that. I wouldn't do that now. Definitely, it's much better this way. Much better that I'm a workaholic, I think.
creativity. All those creative people, you are ruining my visual world. You are ruining my food. You are ruining everything that I respect. All those schools that promote creativity. I would like to ban all of you to some distant island. Why don't you just paint or make films or sing or play music? Forget creativity.